what exactly did you find? How did you come up with this two million number? Yeah, so uh, as you mentioned, uh, Facebook is expected to lose 2 million users under the age of 25 this year, um, particularly in the teen demographic, the 12 to 17 year olds. We've already seen some of a decline in usage there over the past year or two, but that decline has steepened quite a bit this year. And for the first time, we're also seeing a decline in usage this year among people 18 to 24 in the U.S. and also users ages 0 to 11. Uh, obviously, we know that Facebook is isn't uh, technically allowed for those that age group, but we do know that people are using it in that age group. Uh, unfortunately, not as many as we hoped, or as Facebook perhaps had hoped. Uh, so as far as how we got the numbers, they come from an analysis of third-party survey data, as well as public, re public information released by Facebook, uh, and, and government information as well on population trends and internet usage trends. So do we have any idea if Facebook's algorithmic changes, the decision to show more posts from friends and family versus news, had an impact here? Like, is this a decision that Facebook is, is in a way, consciously making to sacrifice users in order to improve the overall experience? Well, they did say that on their last quarterly earnings call. Uh, but, I, you know, I think this problem really has to more to do with the fact that for teens, uh, s interacting in a visual, uh, graphical, uh, video way is, is very popular. That's why we're seeing Snapchat rising in popularity. Uh, we're seeing the factor that uh, Facebook has a lot more older people on it, and maybe that's not so cool for teens. Uh, and we're also seeing that, uh, you know, teens may not be as interested in the idea of keeping things for posterity. On Facebook, as we know, on the feed, you can you know you can save things forever. Whereas on a platform like Snapchat, most everything disappears after 24 hours. Michael, how troublesome is this for Facebook? I, I think that when you step back, the biggest issue with Facebook is it, it really isn't about teens anymore. I mean, 80% of the users on Facebook are over the age of 25. Instagram's a lot younger, um, but not that much. And so 70% of the users are over the age of 25. But when you look at Snapchat, it's only 50%. And so how troubling would it Because it's not that troubling, because a lot of what Facebook is going to do in terms of its growth is it's going to be among people that are older, and it's about people who have the time for more usage. And yes, teens and, and the younger audience is going to be going to Snapchat, but we also don't know what's going to happen next. In the last week or so, Snapchat redesigned its interface, and there were a lot of people across the internet who were unhappy with that. So these things are very much in flux, and also a couple million users one way or the other isn't going to make a huge difference in the whole Facebook universe. Deborah, would you agree with that? I mean, to a certain point, you know, with Facebook, we're the victim of, of the law of large numbers, but does losing two, two million not really matter so much for, for Facebook and gaining two, two million not so much for Snapchat, or is this part of a longer term trend that is going to continue? Well, yeah, I mean, we're obviously going to be watching the numbers to see if this is a longer-term trend. Uh, but, you know, Michael's right. When it comes to the important part of Facebook, which is how much ad revenue are they generating, we're not seeing any impact at all. As a matter of fact, we're forecasting that Facebook will have about a quarter of all U.S. digital ad revenue this year and about 10 percent of all media spending in the United States this year. And that is still expected to grow up in double-digit percentages over the next couple of years. So advertisers are still very, very interested in that Facebook audience, I, even if maybe the teen audience is not using uh, Facebook itself. They may be using Instagram. That's another thing. Instagram is also very popular with teens and young adults, and it's growing in its ad revenue as well. So Facebook's got a lot of hedges against this potential problem.